All right, I'm back on the horse's head. And uh, I'm going to try to finish this today. Hopefully. I'm down here just a little bit early. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm gonna have to cut the head off. I can't work on this head in the position it's in, so I'm gonna cut the head off at the neck and uh, it's gonna take some re-sculpting the neck, but I can handle that. I'm gonna heat up this knife with a flame so that the knife will cut through the clay a little easier. Move the flame out of the way. I know it's hard to see, but I'm going to cut the uh, armature and remove it. Okay, what I'm doing is just heating up the uh, new armature that I'm going to stick in so that when I put the head back on, it'll stay in place. that works <laughs> it's gonna be really hard for you to see what I'm doing because I'm afraid my hands are gonna be in the way but I've got to uh, make this look like a horse's head and uh, so I may have to stop recording and come back after I get done working on this because I don't want to be concentrating on the camera as well as the uh, sculpture I want to get this done, and so I'll be back in a little while.
because right now it's not looking like a horse's head and my goal is to make it look like one i've reduced the light on the clay and that's why it looks a little darker because i gotta be able to see the shadows and if i have too much light i can't have shadows that i need and so it's playing with the light that's really what a sculptor does is just he creates shadows until they look familiar I had to get this back on because I dropped the head on the floor. Luckily, it didn't hurt anything. It did damage the uh, left eye a little bit, but I can fix that. It's always scary to cut a sculpture up. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to run this right down through his neck. Right on down to the body of the horse. I think that should hold it. What's well, coming out of the bottom down here. 
So I gotta pull it up a little bit. The only problem with making surgery on a sculpture is uh, the wire you have to use to anchor it back again. And you just pray that it stays. I don't know. Final thoughts on this. I'm just about to give up on this piece. But I still got a lot of work to do to uh, get this horse to a point where I like it. I've got uh, under his neck to get and under the jaw of the horse. And then I got all the detailing I got to do. And I've screwed up the leg in the front by just working around it. But uh, it'll all come together. It's just, you got to know when to stop working on it because you're ready to tear it apart. And that's where I'm at right now today. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this aside for today and I'll come back tomorrow and get to work on it. You just sort of have to take it one day at a time. All right, everybody. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.